Well, nearly three years after a cold-blooded murder outside of Winsocket Bank, the last of three suspects in the case comes clean. During the same news conference that announced the food stamp fraud bust, the U.S. Attorney's Office also revealed that Jose Santiago, the suspected getaway driver in the 2010 robbery and murder of David Maine, changed his plea to guilty just as his trial was about to get underway. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen is live in our newsroom now with the latest developments. Yeah, the U.S. Attorney for Rhode Island said this was an unexpected development today, but he said it's something he's seen defendants do before. It's been a busy morning. The end of a legal saga is near. The killing and robbing of David Maine outside of a Winsocket Bank in 2010 made major headlines and brought into question state and federal rights. Now the accused getaway driver in the shooting, Jose Santiago, has pleaded guilty to the charges against him. Uh, Mr. Santiago came into federal court um, and pled guilty to all of the charges against him as alleged in the indictment. Um, I want to make something uh, extraordinarily clear. We have no plea agreement uh, with Mr. Santiago. The U.S. Attorney for Rhode Island, Peter Narona, said Santiago's case was in its second day of jury selection in federal court when Santiago unexpectedly admitted his guilt. They see the evidence. It's there. It's real. Uh, the jury's being selected. Um, I don't know what his inner thinking was, but it's, I've seen it happen before. Um, and ultimately, he made the decision. The case drew national attention after Governor Lincoln Chafee lost a battle to keep the accused shooter, Jason Plew, in state custody to avoid the possibility of the death penalty in federal court. Well, ultimately, the battle was unnecessary because Plu pleaded guilty in federal court, thus avoiding capital punishment. Now, a third person charged in the killing, Kelly LaJoy, has also pleaded guilty. Now, all that's left in Santiago's case is sentencing. And Santiago will be sentenced in November. He faces the possibility of life in prison. Santiago's attorney did not return our calls for a comment. Live in the newsroom, I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.